Hi, I'm Socom. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, create a Mac OS X EL Captain installer on a USB uh, drive using built-in command lines. Why you want to do that? Actually, Apple these days no longer give you the installer DVD to install it. So if you need to install it, you have to install uh, using Wi-Fi over the internet and of course it's going to take very long time to install it so that's why you want to create the installer so these are the command we're going to be using uh, you're going to just copy and paste it looks complicated but all you need to do is just uh, type in a text file and then copy and paste to run in the terminal so I'm going to show you how to do it so first what you need is actually a, a USB drive, USB stick. 8 gig is good enough, but I recommend you use 16 gig. So, as you can see, I pick it up from Micro Center, 16 gig for 5.99. So one sells four dollars. It's very cheap. So, uh, do you want to pick it up? Okay, you want to pick one up. So next, we're gonna do. After you got the disk, you're going to put it into a computer and we're going to prepare it. So first thing is we're going to label it. As shown here, I have a 16 gig, so you can name it for whatever you want, but this is how I name it. Uh, label it. And then the format's going to be Mac OS X Extended and GUI Partition. I'm going to show how to do it uh, as we uh, go through with this. So the GUI partition is make it bootable on a disk. So first you need to go to a website to download. So you're going to open your computer. So you click on uh, Apple Apple Store. This is the EL Captain that you're going to want to you need to download from the Apple Store. Okay? And of course you need your Apple ID. Uh, you need if you don't have one you need to register to get one and you can run the upgrade you can download from uh, the old OS Act like 10.9 uh, Maverick or in this case I use Yoast Mic so if you click on launch pad after you download it I click on download launch pad this is uh, that's showing you the progress so the download is huge about 6 gig it's not small so you have a slow link uh, it takes for a couple of hours so next I'm going to show you uh, where it's downloaded to so actually it it's going to download and put into the application folder if you click on go and click on applications this is where it's located it's not done yet but I just want to show you that's where the download it's uh, the download uh, OS X captain it located so after you after the download is finished it's gonna run the installer here so we're not gonna install we're gonna minimize it okay uh, because we're gonna create the image out of it so uh, so what you need to do is actually you put in your USB drive right now you want to put it but it's not showing up after you put it in why because by default it's hidden so you need to click on finder and then preferences okay and there's a checkbox here say external disk once you check on it okay and you can see that uh, the disk by default is no name so we're gonna prepare so if you look at the previous uh, slides and that you need to prepare the disk so first you need to click on go okay so we need to launch and click on utilities this is the utility this utility we're gonna, we're gonna prepare it okay we're gonna make it bootable by preparing it first double click on this utility okay after you double click on it uh, you can see the top one is actually it's the built-in uh, drive it's not uh, so the your internal drive and the USB one okay so I have two partition on the internal drive, but the USB you can see clearly it's labeled. It's not labeled, but you can see, you can tell it's a USB drive that we just plug in with no uh, name on it. So next we're gonna do we click on partition, okay? As you can see the label we're gonna label it. So next we can click on Dropbox here. 
so we want to use one partition okay just one partition out of this because we have 16 gig here so uh, Mac OS X extended this is what we wanted as you can see in the previous slide and we're gonna name it to exactly just what uh, we intended to USB uh, drive DRV 16 GB 16 gig this is the size that I have here okay next we're gonna click on uh, after that we're gonna click on options here this is how you're gonna define it by default it's not but uh, I have to previously check so I'm gonna check master boot is for Windows we're not we don't want that and this is uh, Apple partition uh, this is for the old one Apple uh, Apple partition map that's for the old but you want the newer one the GUI partition is the one that you want that so so all of these selections looks okay and then we're gonna uh, what we need to do okay we may verify everything okay and click on apply and of course we click on partitions here so it's gonna do its thing it's disappeared a little bit but it's gonna come back uh, with the new label as you can see here if we prepare it as the, so that Mac OS can uh, understand that this we prepared it already so um, as you can see uh, partition is like that so I'm gonna cancel out a little bit I'm gonna go back to partition again I'm not gonna do it but I just wanted to double check make sure it's GUI partition we click on uh, partition here and click on options right here it's all select so I'm gonna I'm not gonna modify I'm gonna cancel it out here uh, because we already done that we just do that to double check that so we're not saving it if we don't we so we we close it because we already done that so now be prepared already so next thing that we want to do I'm gonna show you how to run it so we're gonna put Mac Ozak uh, EL captain into this USB drive so uh, so we're gonna move it a little bit so we can see it I said uh, then uh, we just give it a little space we're gonna, we're gonna launch we're gonna launch a terminal huh? So let me check here a second. This is the after you download it, it's just ready to install, but you're not gonna install, it's just minimize it. We are not installing. We're gonna just need to put that installer into a USB. Okay, USB drive. So next we're gonna uh, as you can see here, uh, I just click on launch page again. Uh, that's where it's located. Just double check it's here. First we're gonna click on go. We're gonna I'm gonna go to uh, utility our oh, application I'm sorry we click on application to work the bubble check again this is where the image had been downloaded location here this is one we want to run command from uh, to grab uh, the image here into uh, USB so we're gonna click on go now okay and we take on go and click on utilities okay that's where we're gonna do and we're gonna launch the terminal here the command line that we're gonna be installed double click on it so let's see yeah, double click on it okay this is the the terminal that we're gonna be, we're gonna be running the command uh, again the command I prepare it there so I pre uh, uh, edit a text file here so you, you create a text file of course it's crazy to type it by hand so you're gonna make sure everything is typed first but pay attention to the command but the only thing everything is okay except for um, see the label here USB 16 so whatever name you you label whatever label you label your disk make sure you put exactly uh, what what that is okay in this case I label my USB drive as USB like that so I'm gonna select all of it okay I'm gonna select the entire it's really hard to select uh, let's see I'm gonna try to do that again so I'm gonna select all okay I'm gonna try to copy because I'm using a remote desktop is really hard the mouse is only sticky here okay so I'm gonna select it all and then uh, I'm gonna do a copy of the entire commands okay copy and then I'm gonna paste into this uh, command the terminal here so we paste it and then we press enter okay so it's a little pause here uh, it's gonna try one so you're gonna be prompted to enter your credential so whatever uh, login name that you log into this Mac uh, you need to enter it so let's see uh, it just doesn't refresh it's gonna take a little bit of time to refresh it because I'm again I'm connecting through the terminal uh, 
uh, to do the recording um, let me see okay now let me try to enter my password again it's uh, a little bit sticky here uh, it does, just doesn't want to type uh, I'm gonna try it again uh, let's see it just doesn't give me uh, the character here I'm gonna try again uh, let's see I can uh, type it uh, let's see I'm gonna take a little bit of time trying again my mouse freezing yep it goes but it doesn't take my password so I'm gonna try it again uh, you probably don't see the cursor but let me try it uh, it should be okay okay this time okay now login successful as you can see uh, the progress is so I'm gonna uh, stop the video recording is gonna take a while it's gonna take a few minutes like a 10 minute 15 minutes or so because the size is about 6 gig so I'm gonna pause the video once it's done uh, we're gonna come back okay so you wanna make sure as you can see here the label changes already okay so it change it changes to uh, uh, the label the installer here okay the label has been changed on my okay now it's done successfully uh, so next thing we're gonna do is actually uh, we're gonna uh, so we're gonna verify here this is the size that we have you right click and then uh, click on info and I just want to show you here the size that it's about six gig right? and then the content is it's just one folder so it gets put exactly let's see oh I can't check from here I'm gonna have to open it from uh, the icon it right click on it okay uh, I think the view doesn't uh, doesn't do over here so I'm gonna have to right click on the icon here okay and click on open okay click on open here this is exactly the same okay it copy uh, know that you can't manually copy although you see that you have to run the command or it won't be able bootable it's not it's not that you just copy into the disk and expect it to boot so that's the process so next thing we're gonna do okay we're gonna shut on the shut off the computer so we're gonna uh, try to make sure we can boot uh, off this uh, installer here USB installer that we already done I now I show you keyboard here so what you do when you turn on your computer you press and hold this is how you launch installer it's gonna show your drop down menu okay so you press turn on the power and press and hold and don't let go yet until you see the boot menu okay? turn on the power press and hold the option key okay keep holding and then you can see the boot menu here you look at uh, there is a USB on the right side okay uh, that is a USB uh, this that we have okay now I'm gonna zoom up a little bit here so we're gonna click on that arrow to boot uh, into this disk okay after that see it it boots up now so I'm not going to show you how to install it this is how uh, so if you already have OS X when you click on install OS X it's gonna start upgrading okay so that's it and uh, that should uh, you should be you should have the uh, USB installer uh, to keep it for installing uh, any element that you need to uh, 